Hey, how's it going guys? Jesse here. Welcome to episode 57 of the Iron Four to Diamond series. Today we're playing Jax in the top lane as voted by you guys. Opio, GG and the runes are on screen right now. So in this game, we're going to try to rush Triforce into Spear of Shojin and I'm going to be maxing E second because with Spear of Shojin, after I activate my stun and then my ult, I get to have my stun up two more times within this ult duration if I do it correctly. So we're going to be giving that a try and see how many counter strikes we get off. It'll be pretty hilarious and at the same time, Leap Strike is on a much shorter cooldown so we'll be able to pair that up with E. And that's the idea behind it. Other than that, I think we just survive in lane, get really good farm, and then we automatically pop off because Jax is just really broken once you get items and just farm well early on. So we don't have to do anything crazy as long as we just get good farm. After that, we just take over the game with this champion. The only thing is, if you don't farm well and you fall behind early, then it becomes kind of rough. Complacency breeds death. I wonder what Camille started. She started on the wrong side. Okay, sweet. We get so much attack speed from our passive, so we become stronger than almost anyone. And then Counter Strike also helps as well. If life hasn't changed you, Okay, just keep harassing with our counter strike, it's really broken early. And obviously get leap strike because counter strike and leap strike basically the same thing except one gives mobility, at least at rank 1. Okay, so now we just hang back a little bit. And then I guess we can save our ward jump for it's if Kane comes. On. I always debate whether to ward or not. But I think in this situation, Kane can just like go over walls anyway, so my ward wouldn't even spot him. So no point. Might as well use it for a ward jump. This is pushing back to me, so I'll just let it happen. We don't need to do anything crazy. Just let it push back. And see how Kane's here? He just wasted his time. Okay, that's fine. Can he get on anyone? Nice. That's what I wanted. Perfect. And we got a flash out of him as well. Oh. I want this to freeze on... Um, in favor of us. So this will push towards us. It's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to take that fight while Lee's around. Because we win pretty hard. Counter Strike is just like basically a trend ult, but almost spammable. At least against certain matchups. So how this is pushing back into us and Camille's low health, she should just teleport back. That would be the best play for her. So max W first, and then E second. That's going to be my plan, hopefully I don't forget. Ready for battle. An enemy has been slain. Kane's already down there. So yeah, Camille's not getting any CS. An enemy has been slain. Quickens the work. And we can build up our passive. We need to start pushing out again or also crash into tower. But yeah, it looks like this is going to crash. We still have our teleport, so we're fine to do some pretty crazy trades like that. Otherwise, I would have just let this crash in. But I want Camille to miss as much CS as possible. See how she's 9 CS because I'm doing this freeze tactic? It's really, really nice if you can get it set up properly. So right now, I just want to slow push. Get it to crash into tower, and then we can reset. Maybe not even have to use, well, pop a biscuit here. Let me add him. Okay, 
Okay, I'll take it. Like, she should have went back ages ago. That was her best play. And then come back with item advantage, push me in. And then I have to teleport as well. Otherwise she stays and then I kill her for free. And I still have my teleport. So I still have teleport advantage. I can't teleport to bot lane because then I'll miss out on too much. She can freeze it on me. I don't know if she will, but she can. So I can't teleport bot. What? Wait, there's three people AFK in base. What the hell is this? Yasuo only died once though. I guess that's Yasuo syndrome. It's really bad, like... Um, Yasuo is a curse. You either dodge it if it's on your team, or you celebrate if it's on the enemy team. Ooh, go Lee. Nice kick. Lol. <laughs> that was simple enough. Okay, so there's a chance that Kane's still top right now. I have no idea where he is because I did not see him for quite a while. So he could be anywhere right now. Bring it on. We'll get a deepish ward over there. So if he does come through, he'll usually come through the tribush using a D. So he just bullied her out again. And then we can... Enemies on a rampage? So Tristana's ultra fed right now. That's not good for us. We just need to get another kill on Camille, which is very doable. She's falling so far behind right now on EXP. It's because we're denying her with a slow push. So max E second. I wanna get Triforce into Shojin and then I might get Tiamat after that. Just for the all-in burst. Ready for battle. Oh man, Camille's over there. Start taking some platings. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's keep pushing out. But yeah, if there's a champion to carry, it's on Jax. One of the few champions that can 1v9 and it'll be okay if there's an AFK. So hopefully there's no two AFKs. And we should be okay. I get my Triforce here as well. Okay, sweet. Let's get out of here. Alright, we have our Triforce and then I'll work towards a Shojin as well. So let's see if we could make a TP play. Ooh. I put a point in Q by accident. Alright, sweet. 
Let's see if we could get this tower. Damn, we didn't get first blood tower, unfortunate. Kind of close. Yeah, if Alistair goes in first... Still couldn't get tower though. I mean, if Alistair dives, I really want him to dive first. Because Alistair still has ult. Okay, we're very close to Spear. 900 gold left. It's only 12 minutes in. I want to go and get some tower platings off top tower. And then I can start becoming a monster once I get Shoujin. Let's get a Gromp on the way as well. Nice, that's a beautiful shutdown. Oh, someone took Rift. That's very silly of him. Oh, Yasuo's back. What? Okay. I was like, wait a minute, I got stunned, and that was so delayed. Like, she arrived at the wall, and then I stunned her. Then I got stunned. That was pretty sketch. Okay, nice, we get tower. And we have Shoujin here. So this Yasuo is level 5, he's basically just going to be feeding the enemy. So we try to end the game before that happens. They have quite a few hyper carries, but they're all AD, so that makes it a lot easier to itemize against. Mm, Yasuo is not pushing that tower. Wait, I can go down there. I can take them both out. Okay, let's just get... Oh my god, I... I, I skilled my Q by mistake again. Jesus, Jax is OP. Oh yeah, Jax is one of the champions where you can just mash every button and it's okay. I'm literally just mashing every button. Broken champion. Okay. Shojin. Jesus. We already got the massive core. So yeah, I think last game, if instead of Warwick, I was playing Jax and I managed to beat Volibear, which I'm pretty sure that Volibear didn't know how to play, so I could easily take over the game if I get ahead in lane. Surprise. Just by simply setting up the freeze, which is exactly what I did on Warwick as well. I set up a freeze. What the hell are they doing? Wait, why'd they tower dive? They, they tower dive MF. So I think the key with using Shojin is you want to use your E and then you pop the activation stun and then use your ult. Or else it won't work. Your um the cooldown reduction doesn't apply to your E unless you already activate it. Bring it on. 
That's what, at least LCS is decent this game. Oh yeah, if she jumps. Every button. Broken champion. Oh. It's okay, we needed some monkey sounds in this game. my ults up again. I could literally go in on this if they chase a little more. Ah, okay. Man, this would be fun, but I have a lot of gold. I kind of want them to come. Maybe I can just take this out. If they go on Alistar, I can go in. Oh! I almost had it. Let's get Titanic Hydra next. Damn, that was so close. Almost had all of them. I think I can just TP in and destroy. I have 19 kills, that's like average of 1 kill per minute. Considering this Yasuo is basically non-existent, you just take over the game. I have to say, once I'm this fed, even if there's 2 AFK, I think we are good to go. Because I'm this fed. Not for any other reason. Okay, we have our Titanic Hydra now. Let's go and pick up a red buff here. And then if there's any fight that breaks out, I want to be there. Thank you. Jesus. We just one-shot the red buff as well. Okay, I almost one shot at her. That's a free tower, they're all scared of me. My ult is coming up again, but I don't have mana for a massive rotation. So I need to get blue buff first. Okay, get more. This as well. Sweet, now we can 1v9. I have infinite mana. Oh, Yasuo is going in.
There we go. Not even close. <laughs> oh my god, that damage is disgusting. Yeah, uh, Jax is just broken. As long as he can get out of laning phase in one piece and slightly ahead, that will be optimal. But really, the hardest part is laning phase for Jax. That's seriously the hardest part. You have to get through that, and then you become broken. Let's give it to Lee Sin. I think he played really, really well. Like, solid. The fact that we had no mid laner, he didn't tilt. He played really well. I was removed from the party. What? Let's have a look at damage. Oh my god. 38,800. That's not even close. Wow. Okay. Maybe I can put some interesting title. The possibilities of titles are endless on YouTube. I feel like it has the maximum potential. The biggest oomph. So do forgive me. If you guys don't like the title, I know it kind of sucks. But if you like it because of the idea of helping the channel grow, then that's awesome too. And I appreciate everyone's support. But basically, this title and thumbnail that I'm thinking about has potential to become viral, just like my Darius video became viral. So, you know, clickbait, but it'll have to do. So I hope you guys understand. Anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed that episode. That was pretty fun, and it actually turned out really well. So be sure to vote down below which champion won seat in the next one. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.